Well, guys, why don't we go to the cinema tonight? That's a great idea. What's on? Well, there's the new film with Schwarzenegger. That should be good. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. What would you suggest? How about going to the disco? The disco. Are you crazy, Alice? That's not even music. That's simply noise. Come on, Peter. It's Saturday night. We have to do something special. Something exciting. And going dancing is surely more exciting than going to the cinema. I agree with Alice. Let's go dancing. <laughs> what about a third choice? I guess Anne is right. Why don't we try to find a good compromise? Come on, guys. How boring and old-fashioned you are. And you are more frivolous than I am, Alice. Come on, guys. Don't argue now, please. Let's vote on it. Well, Alice and I want to go dancing. Peter and Anne don't. How about you, Sharon? I don't know. Well, the disco is probably more entertaining than the cinema. Great. Okay, guys. Three against two. Let's go dancing. <laughs> Here's my party hat. How do you like it? You look great. I envy you. Hats really suit you. Well, I envy your room, Anne. But with all this traffic, how do you sleep? Oh, I'm used to it. Which disco are we going to? Paradise. It's a new disco on King's Road. It's very nice. Did Tom and you go there together? Yes, we went last Saturday. We spent a nice night together. Maybe I asked the wrong question. You don't like Tom, do you? He's boring. Very boring. Besides, he's an Aries. And he talks too much. Last night, for example, he showed me all the pictures of his holiday in the Alps. He talked for an hour about the mountains. But I hate the mountains. Why do you say that? The mountains are beautiful and spectacular. I prefer the beach. It's more relaxing and entertaining. Oh, I don't know. I think the beach is more boring than the mountains. Why do you say that? Well, think about it. Lying on the beach every day, it's much more interesting to be walking in the countryside. Yes, but it's usually colder in the mountains. I think the beach is also more romantic. Girls, stop talking nonsense. How do I look? You look very pretty, Alice. Thanks, Sharon, but you look better than me. No, how can you say that? You're much more tan than I am. Yes, but you are in better shape. And me? How do I look? You are very pretty too, Anne. I'm sure I'm not nearly as beautiful as you. Come on, guys. Start making stupid comparisons. Let's just say that we're all different. Hey, girls. Okay, are you ready? I need your advice. Which shirt is better according to you? The red one, it's much better than the blue one for a disco night. And you, Sharon, what do you think? Well, I think the red one is funnier, while the blue one is more professional. I prefer the blue one. So, girls, which shirt should I put on? I told you, the red one. With that one on, you'll look more macho. Yes, macho. That's the right word. Really? Macho? <laughs> I like it. Okay, I'll put on the red shirt. Do you agree with Alice, Sharon, about being macho, I mean? Come on, Jack. 
It's late. The disco is waiting for us. So, Tom, which do you think is the best? Hmm. I think Prague is the most interesting. Are you sure? I think Vienna is more exciting than Prague. Yes, but it's certainly your most expensive tour. It doesn't matter. My father is going to pay for everything. And what about Madrid? I think it's probably the most exciting. Why do you say that? Well, the nightlife. I'm sure there are a lot of discos. That's true. But it is certainly the hottest city. You're a good friend, Tom, but you are so boring. I don't really care about the weather. I just want to enjoy myself. This trip is my father's birthday present to me. I want to go to Europe's most interesting city, but also the most special and the most entertaining one. I see. Well, I think all three are interesting cities. Hi, guys. What are you doing? My father is going to give me a trip for my birthday, so I'm choosing where I would like to go. Oh, really? That's great. Are you going alone? No. My father promised to come with me. Oh. Well, do you already have an idea of where you want to go? Not yet. I can't make up my mind between Vienna, Prague and Madrid. Tom was making some precious suggestions. But she isn't taking my advice, as usual. Well, I think Prague is probably the oldest city. But Vienna is the most interesting one. There are a lot of important meetings in Vienna. Oh, and lots of museums, too. Well, Madrid also has a lot of museums. Do you agree with that? Yes, that's true. But Madrid is certainly the hottest city. <laughs> oh, my God, Anne. You were like Tom. You both talk nonsense. I think you two should go out together. I think you would get on well. Alice, what are you talking about? You're joking, right? Well, not really. I think Tom is perfect for you, Anne. Come on, Alice. Stop being foolish. You're embarrassing us. Really? There's no need to be ashamed. Listen, I'm going to leave you two alone now so you can get to know each other better. Bye. <laughs> You can watch our new videos by subscribing. So, don't forget to subscribe.